Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking into this third party situation that you are in, your person's thoughts and feelings towards you and towards the third party. See what's up, any advice or guidance I can give you or any, I don't know, things that you would like to hear or know uh, from this whole situation. <clears throat> Let me get over real quick all the announcements. As always, you can still book private readings with me. Just send me an email. The email is in the description box below. Send me an email. I'll get back to you with all the information that you need to know about booking readings with me. There is all also a Linktree link down below. Uh, if you're looking for anything when it comes to me, this channel, uh, there you'll find it. You'll find my Instagram, my TikTok. For anyone that feels generous and would like to make a donation, uh, you'll find all the ways you can do that uh, for me. Or just click on the super like or super thank you button here on YouTube as well. Now, let's just go over today's reading. So there's no context or no, this third party situation that you are in. Um, there are thoughts towards you and the, the third party. Uh, today, I got it, as you can see, maybe a little bit different from usual. Per pal, you have two cards. Uh, so pal number one, you are going to be these two cards. We have Karma and Justice with Balance, and we also have the Ace of Water with Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio for pile number one. Pile number two, you are going to be... Oh, I have this upside down. <laughs> you are going to be these two cards with the Ace of Fire with Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, as well as Alchemy with Ancestor Guides for pile number two. And pile number three, you are going to be these two cards with Decisions and the Limitations and Fears card for pile number three. So if you need some more time to figure out which pile belongs to you, then pause the video here and otherwise I will talk to you in your reading. Hi pile number one, so if you chose these two cards then this is going to be your reading today. So this third party situation that you are in, what are their thoughts and feelings towards you and the third party? So the cards that you actually chose represent you and the third party. So how I shuffle this is that you will represent the Ace of Water and the third party will represent the Balance, Karma and Justice card. Of course, this is just like energy. Energy shifts. Uh, it is very fluid. So if uh, this card resonates for you. You can take it that way. I'm just going to read it like the Ace of Water is going to be your energy and this one is going to be their energy. Uh, so just take it how it resonates. If it is re reversed, just take that um, energy that way as well. So we're going to lay it down like this. And then first off, we are going to take a look at their um energy towards you and then the energy towards the other person. For some of you... I definitely feel that you are the third party, that they are married to the other person and you are the new love interest coming in. Uh, with that, I definitely feel that there is a lot of love and um, just so much love for you as well. Uh, they might be going through a divorce with this person. But just let, let's just take a look at what the tarot has to say about this some more. So pile number one. Your person's thoughts and feelings towards you in this third party situation. Their thoughts and feelings towards pile number one. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, first off, we have the chariots, we have the two of swords, <clears throat> the emperor. Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Okay. <laughs> Does that fit? Kind of. Um, and at the bottom, we have the King of Wands. So let me talk and like make room at the same time. <laughs> Okay, so with this, I definitely feel that this, I don't know, felt a little bit impulsive. The way that they, I don't know, like approached you or how they started this. Um, very much 
with that knight of wands energy right that's just like just going with it because there was attraction let's just like go for it go after it um don't think too much about it just follow that spark and that direction and kind of just like just go um I do feel that there are some maybe regrets on how things went, like the order. Um, not being able to give you what it is that you deserve or maybe even need. Um, the feeling of, I'm not good for pile number one. I'm not good enough for pile number one. I'm still in this mess, not being able to really make a decision as well with that two of swords. not wanting to like string along because you have the seven of pentacles and the seven of cups to me the sevens are very much like like confusion not not seeing clearly uh all the options not being able to make a decision with it very stuck to like am i just gonna burn this bridge am i gonna move forward from this or am i gonna mo invest more into this also having a lot of with that seven of cups like a lot of options but like also options that might not be so realistic very much getting in their head about it yeah but what if then i don't know i choose pile number one and they ch ch like choose to leave me then why did i do that very overthinking but at the same time, with that emperor wanting to make the best decision for everyone involved, where that knight of wands, the initial initial action is one of maybe a bit more selfish. I just want to do this with pound number one, so I'm just going to go after it. And then, you know, the consequences will come after. I'll look at that after. Um, and then realizing with that ace of water... That there is a lot of love there a lot of caring a lot of excitement for like new love as well but let me take a look at their thoughts and feelings towards the other person to see a little bit like the 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 situation that they're in because like i said for some of you this is the one that they are married to um for others of you it can be that this is someone that they see marriage with um but i'm also seeing for some of you that they want to or that this person wants to work on their marriage so let me take a look which deck am i gonna use for this person i think i'm gonna use this one okay so pile number one what are their thoughts and feelings towards the third party here what are their thoughts and feelings towards the third party here? Okay, one skipped in the deck. <laughs> Look at that. The one that skipped is again the emperor. Again the emperor. So also wanting to make the right decision for this person as well. Not wanting to string along. We have the king of pentacles we have the moon we have the queen of swords and then at the bottom for this one we have the magician as well as the star look at that the star okay again i feel there are very different like <laughs> energies going around for this uh reading can you guys actually see that let me skip it up a little bit more these are in the way let me oh my god this is gonna be such hectic such a hectic one okay this works better right this works better kind of it doesn't look pretty anyway that's not why you are here um I see a lot of different situations with this person so again for some of you they are married to this person for others of you they see marriage with this person being happening i definitely feel more that this person is someone that they have been manifesting this relationship has been 
this is the person that is almost I don't want to say like picture perfect but <laughs> this is the relationship or the connection that they are holding hope for for it to work out where I feel like with that king of pentacles they see that long term settling down having a house um being comfortable type relationship where this person might be a bit with that queen of swords maybe a bit of an ice queen or very cold very direct but at the same time i feel like this person finds that like funny or for some reason that works um with that moon there are i feel like they do keep things from this person maybe it's like you keeping you know not telling the truth about you or what happened here to this person Okay, so if I had to sum it up, I feel like I see more of an investment in this person with this balance. But <laughs> with this one, the top one, I see more, more of like a new start, new love, new excited um, passion, but very indecisive, not sure what to do, not making a decision. Maybe even a combination of the two uh, stringing along because they don't know. They don't want to end it, but they also don't want to continue it. So it's just a bit in limbo thing that's going on. Both of them, again, you have the emperor. So I definitely feel that they feel loyalty to the both of you. Wanting to make the best decision for everyone involved. Um, so no one like gets angry or something. I definitely feel that this person has no idea about this person. Where they're hiding it, which is understandable, I feel like. Cause with that Queen of Swords, this is someone that could, when they find out, just like give help. But let's take a look with the moon. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? We have the Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel like since they... How do I even... So that Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands is both about celebration, joy. Um... And I feel like that side of them was kind of missing here. Or they were kind of like hiding it from this person. I think this, this connection relationship has been through some ups and downs. And they were kind of in a down where they were missing that joy and that, you know, fun side. I feel like then they just like almost ran into this person and then like got back in balance or something I definitely okay I'm definitely feeling that they have more hope or more actively manifesting this relationship right here to balance this relationship out again justice and karma balancing it out I do feel that at some point they have to tell this person about this person. I feel like there's... Okay, I'm getting like a lot of different things that's like very specific to like one or two of you. But I feel like the more I talk about those very specific things, the more confusing it will get for everyone else. <laughs> so I'm just gonna move forward. Uh, with some oracles on this because I'm a bit curious as to what they want right where I'm like having a high hope for this person and manifesting this relationship working on this relationship but then why is there a third party then just focus on this make a decision 
focus on this right and for some reason they're not willing to make a decision with this person um unrealistic expectations fantasies i can make this work <sighs> okay let me get some oracles on this maybe this will clarify for me a little bit uh so pile number one their thoughts and feelings on this whole third party situation thoughts and feelings on this whole third party situation what is going on in their head about this oh 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 i knocked my camera okay uh first off we have the new moon in leo with confidence is your key to success confidence is your key to success and with that again with that five pentacles i feel like there's a lack of confidence with them right like not giving this person what they deserve not you know going all in because hmm. i feel like they're not you know if i would have to go with like confidence is the key to success i feel more confident with this side this that they have more confident in for like the long term okay let's see what else pile number one their thoughts and feelings towards this third party situation new moon in sagittarius with luck is on your side luck is on your side i feel like this is also this is a very like charismatic confident person in who they are and they might have felt like running into you or the other person was very much like luck and now luck has it he has two people that he has to make a decision about because i feel like they definitely feel that this is not something that can continue again otherwise they wouldn't have to hide it or having a hard time making a decision for it Let's see, we also have Dragon's Lair. Yeah, Dragon's Lair. Look at that. I feel like for some of you, this can also be like them being their authentic self. Because like if they leave the house, right, they and show themselves, they have a risk of being like, I don't know, attacked by a freaking dragon. Look at that no one wants to run into that walking out the house so like fear um scared and look at that there are also like other creatures like lurking about and i feel like that to me is just like about truth and speaking their truth communicating opening up showing who they are what it is that they have been doing what it is that they want because they're scared that like the dragon will slay, slay them. Um, you know, that they will have to endure pain. Scared to speak truth as well. Okay, what else? thoughts and feelings towards this whole third party situation okay i got two more for you guys i wanted one but that's fine we also have slow and steady slow and steady so taking it very slow taking it like one step at a time again with this like indecisiveness But like again we have the emperor on both right and the emperor is not someone who makes decisions on a whim uh they very much think about all the consequences that this decision will have the impact it might have on other people and wanting to make the de best decision for everyone involved not just for their own selfish beliefs so taking their time you know And again, this is something that they are telling themselves, right? 
whether it's true or not you might be like no you're being selfish that's fine they don't see it that way they definitely want to make the right decision for everyone whether or not it's a selfish decision that is just like you know different for everyone um and the other one that we have is also the wizard of awareness the wizard of awareness again it looks like he is also contemplating like what to do um they are aware that this is not a situation that they can maintain that they can work on that this the way that it is um is like a good solution right very much overthinking okay what am i gonna do how can we move forward um how can i get out of this situation without hurting other people which like let's be honest that's a bit a little too late um okay i want to get some final final messages from this because i'm still a bit like for this person, the top person, I'm not seeing a lot of movement. Right? I see a confirmation again with that ace of water of love, of new love possibilities. Uh, but with that, again, not making decisions, not... Not, one, like not making changes not progressing not um not putting in more not putting in less right just like a bit stillment where it can be that it feels a bit like you're in limbo you don't know what to expect you don't know you know you you just don't know with this thing and i see more of an investment with the other person seeing high hope for the future working on finding balance within this connection and i feel like with this one is more forward moving because i feel that they i don't know for some of you it can be that they're a bit withdrawn from this person um not opening up to them a whole lot uh, because they're a bit fearful, because that Queen of Swords is very powerful energy, very strong, assertive, uh, knows what they want, is good in communicating, is smart. Um, so that can be intimidating for them. But I definitely feel that there's more of that seeking of balance here, working on it, manifesting, having high hope for that future. Like that forward moving energy that I'm missing with this person. With here, there's love. But that's it. Kind of what I'm feeling. Um, and I feel <laughs> that they have been telling this person with that chariot. Oh, I'm going to invest more in you. Oh, this relationship is over. Oh, I'm going to, you know, buy you things. And where it's a lot of like talk. Because look at that. Like it looks, if you look at him, it looks like they're like moving but if you look at the horses it's standing still there is no movement he's like let's go like gotcha uh and they're not moving they are totally still so to me that's just like words right but there's not a whole lot of movement going on in terms of the relationship Okay, let's take a look. Some final messages for you guys on this. So for pile number one, their person thoughts and feelings for this third party situation. Anything. Anything. Basically, we need anything for this. Um, let's take a look. First off, we have photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia make new memories we have hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation uh repeti repetitive uh persistent and working on it girl talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun 
and a karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. And then at the bottom, we have the sunglasses with watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. And underneath that, we have the girl with the snake, empath and narcissist, uh, being charmed or used, enabled and boundaries. <sighs> I'm just a bit annoyed by this person. <laughs> just a tiny bit um i see a lot of hot and cold um one of the two can be a karmic relationship if i had to guess i'm more towards this one being a karmic because that can be very turmoil um lessons to learn like i said there can be a bit of like a narcissist empath thing um going on and if i had to point fingers to the narcissist i don't think it's either of these two uh people um and i <laughs> what's funny to me as well with that hammer it says on the same card it said sabotage and rebuilding which is like almost a complete opposites. But I feel like that's kind of what's happening. Where to one person they're like, oh, I want to rebuild. And to the other person they're like, no, I'm not. This is like an ending. I'm not going to, you know. Where they're having two different stories for two different people. And with this one as well, with photograph, where it says nostalgia as well as making new memories, where they have nostalgia with one person and wanting to make new memories with another person. So to me, it's this is just a situation where I kind of just want to shake the person and just like make a freaking decision and like talk to yourself based on what. Like, okay, the, the past is in the past, you know. Moving forward, what do you want? And, like, it's just that, that question, right? Like, what do you want? What do you want? And, and, like, don't come back with, like, oh, I don't know. You know, that it's just so frustrating. I can cannot imagine how you must be feeling in this. Because this is... This is so frustrating. <laughs> just make a freaking decision, will you? Because with that emperor as well, again, they want to make the right decision for everyone involved. But the longer this takes, the more frustrated everyone gets, the harder it is to make a decision and the harder it is to move forward from it. Right? If they decide to break up with one of the two and move on with the other, the longer it takes, the longer you will have resentment if they like. If you are the one that they break up with because you've put in all that work and then it, you know, you're making decisions on information that you had in like week one and it took you this long to make a decision. Just like grow a pair and make a decision and stick to it. But I feel like there, there's just a bit like fear again as well as if this is a narcissist talking the narcissist also wants everyone to like them as well or paint a horrible picture of the other person and i feel like they're having a hard time doing that with either of the two you know um th th this just a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot i'm not seeing a swift quick decision slow and steady they're taking their time um I do feel that they have all the information that they could have in making a decision. I feel like they're just not making a decision. Um, if they're like, yeah, I need more time or I need to know if I, if I feel more over time or if things change over time. That's bull. 
that makes no sense to me. Um, they have all the information. They can make that decision. I do feel just some, you know, for you, some clarity. I do feel that they have more of um, future intentions with this person. The bottom one. With that balance, justice, and karma. They have been manifesting this relationship. Uh, putting in the effort into this relationship as well as with that star having high hope for the future. For some of you, I definitely feel that they will move forward with this person. But are not going to let go of this person until they have told this person. Just to have some sort of a backup line, lifeline thing. Um, again, that's for some of you, not all of you. Um, but yeah, I am gonna leave the reading here for you guys. This has been a journey. Uh, <laughs> this has been a lot. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, definitely let me know. Um, this, this is just so, like, frustrating. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know, again, who you are in this situation as well. Which, like, line resonated for you most. Give it a video, thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I've seen 80% of my watchers are not subscribed. So please, please, please subscribe. Um, become part of our family here on YouTube. Have a wonderful, wonderful kick-ass, kick-ass rest of your day. Go get them. And hopefully, I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pal number two. So if you chose these two cards... Um, the Ace of Fire and Alchemy and Ancestor Guides, then this is going to be your reading today. So we're going to be looking into this third party that you are involved with. Uh, your person's thoughts and feelings towards you and the third party. So these two cards that you picked represent you as their thoughts and feelings towards you and their thoughts and feelings towards the third party. So how am I going to read this? Is this alchemy and ancestor card is their thoughts and feelings towards you and the ace of fire is their thoughts and feelings towards the third party. Now this is energy. So um, roles can be reversed depending on how it resonates for you. I am going to read it that way. Uh, doesn't mean, you know, if it's for you the other way around, then take it the other way around. But I am going to read it like that. So first off, we are going to take a look at their thoughts and feelings towards you. Then we're going to move on to their thoughts and feelings towards the other person. With that, their thoughts and feelings towards you, with that alchemy and ancestor guides, I definitely feel that this is a connection uh, with you that they feel is been guided. This is a relationship and a connection that they needed it can be a soul connection uh we're gonna take a look at the tarot if that comes out for that but definitely a very deep deep connection um that you are the person that they were supposed to meet uh needed to meet in their life for some sort of you know lesson or direction from spirit from their ancestors and with that ace of fire the other person is more someone that they're like very attracted to a lot of passion attraction um and just like adventure type thing but let's just take a look what else if there's like new more of a nuance than just like they're hot but let's take a look pile number two what are their thoughts and feelings towards you in this third party situation their thoughts and feelings towards pile number two in this whole situation their thoughts and feelings towards pile number two okay let me gather everything okay okay this is the first time i am gonna do something here but let me take a look first off we have the king of pentacles we have the ten of pentacles we have the eight of swords the knight of wands the knight of pentacles and we have the queen of wands now this came out very clearly in reversed usually i do not read reversed cards but to me for some reason i kind of want to keep this one reversed for you guys um 
does that fit it kind of fits and then at the bottom of you guys we have the two of ones so for some of you this is definitely a situation where there is a lot of um, space between the two of you you might be living far apart from each other uh, a lot of traveling happening <sighs> I definitely feel that this is the connection that they see a long-term committed partnership with with that king of pentacles and the ten of pentacles this is them seeing themselves playing a part in the this connection ten of pentacles is just like building a house together uh, having a family legacy uh, a nice house a nice car being comfortable stable um With that Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this is a connection that is going the long run. It's almost like slow but steady. Slow but steady. Um, I do feel that there are some things going on or happening that they're not communicating to you. Um, I think in the beginning there was a lot of attraction, a lot of fire, a lot of spontaneous um, things that they're now kind of with that Queen of Wands in reverse are kind of missing. Or that it kind of like went away. There were other things to worry about. Uh, leaving no room for spontaneous trips. Or um, going on dates. Or, you know, keeping that fire going. And I think that's kind of where this person comes in. But we'll take a look at that in a second. But I definitely feel... that they see this as the connection for them for a lifetime with that ancestor guides that this is definitely the relationship the connection that spirit has in store for them where they're okay this is a long-term thing that you are supposed to be with uh with that two of ones as well i feel like they were just looking for ways to express themselves in what it is that they're missing maybe finding new ways to spark up that attraction again between the two of you look at that underneath that we also had the four of swords so them needing a break needing some rest needing a time out from everything that's going on here um to figure out their thoughts and like what's going on um let me take a look at what are their thoughts and feelings to the other person and then see a little bit the dynamic that is going on here okay pile number two their thoughts and feelings towards the other person their thoughts and feelings towards the other person okay let me gather everything and take a look look at that the two of ones as well jeez okay um we have the two of swords we have the two of ones again the four of swords the death and rebirth the knight of cups and the page of swords okay, and at the bottom for that one we have the nine of cups for some of you this might be an ex-partner or someone like the one that got away type feeling to it um where there's a lot of attraction this might also be some sort of distance with that two of ones again um maybe them even like using this person as to experiment as to find out what is it that they want what is it that they're missing um and you know going a little and look at that there's also that four of swords here that we had at the bottom for this one Okay, that just, okay. <laughs> yeah, to me, I feel like this person is someone that they, I think this is every, this person is kind of everything that they're missing from this connection. But like what they're missing from this connection is not a lot because I don't think there's more to this than, you know, 
I'm not seeing that they see this as, again, that long-term, serious, committed relationship. Um, and then the Knight of Cups is just like an offering of love or like curious, nothing as serious as like the King of Cups. <sighs> okay, but what I'm seeing here is that with this person, they have been through a lot. It has been a long, steady... Um, long and steady road but along the way like that passion and infatuation and like butterfly feeling of course kind of like went away little by little by little because it turns into love Cho like love to me is a choice right choosing to love this person and instead i think by what has been going on I think like by meeting this person, <laughs> I honestly feel that everything was going all right, like choosing to love you steadily, moving forward, um, and then meeting this person, there was so much instant attraction um, that instead of like choosing this person, like to choosing love with this person, they switched with that Queen of Wands here into seeing what it is that they have been missing in this relationship which is that very attraction um and i think they initially maybe went into this connection to find answers to look like okay what is it about this person that i'm so attracted to that i feel like i'm missing in this connection and how can i move that into this uh connection i think that was their original motivator um, I do feel it kind of developed with that Knight of Cups into something more serious that they were like, like I, oh, to me, okay, this is the always the point that like kind of annoys me because like, I feel like if they talk about this or if they will talk about this, they kind of like describe it as like, I don't know, they tripped, they fell and there was this person, you know, where of course that's not what happened, but like, ugh. To me, that's just annoying because it is a choice, right? They did make that choice um, to at least investigate. Again, with that Page of Swords, I definitely feel there was just the intention to just learn, find uh, the answers of like, what again, what was missing here or what was that feeling of missing or what's that feeling that they had here and why was it missing here? I definitely feel that there was the intention to make this connection better. With that two of swords i definitely feel they are a bit indecisive now for some of you this is definitely the situation you know <laughs> if you've been married or been with the person for a long time and it's going great it's a good stable connection but there are just like i don't know there's like five or ten percent missing that they're missing but for 90 percent of the time this is a great relationship and then they find that 10 percent that they have been missing here in someone else now you have 90%, you have 10%. But because of that missing, they're like, oh, but this is what I have been missing. They go over to the 10%. And then, you know, this is where people break up, right? Because they think they have then 100%. In combination, they have the 100%. Of course, this person's not going to take it. So what happens, there is a divorce, okay? They move to the 10% person. Um, and usually after like, I don't know, a month or two, maybe three uh they go back because they find out oh this per person only has 10 percent, and this person had a 90. i was feeling great because this person still brought in a 90 percent, and this person was just a remaining 10. you know and then they're like oh i'm sorry <laughs> uh this is just so where i'm like i don't know that of course it's a third party situation so it's always frustrating I do feel, again, that was like the extreme situation, right? I feel like this third party situation, um, again, this is the 10%. So if you have a person, I feel like it's for most of you, not that to the extreme where they would break up with you. I think there is the realization of the 90%, right? And them just wanting to elevate that to the things that they are missing in the relationship as well as what they can bring 
Um, I think this connection is purely for them to learn, to grow, to maybe find a little bit of a break or rest, finding out that sometimes they need maybe, I don't know, two days a month where they are like free <laughs> to, I don't know, play video games or go golf or like whatever it is that they want to do by themselves, not in this relationship, not having to think about it. Um, but at the same time, for a healthy relationship, I feel like you can do both, right? Where both of the partners work together with that. Um, but I think this was kind of more like the escape, right? Refilling that 10% that they have been missing and then moving back full fo focus, full force on this person again. Um, yeah. I think this doesn't go that deep. Maybe in the beginning, again, for those of you where this is an ex-partner or like the one that got away, uh, I feel like it could be a bit more where they had some sort of like, again, for like a couple of weeks, right? Really wanting to see where this goes, but finding out. I feel like they're just messing it up. <laughs> like this relationship because i feel like this is again with that ancestor guides this is the relationship that everyone is like okay let, this is such a good strong relationship right this kind of reminds me i'm i'm just like i'm not sure who they dated but you know i'm getting a little bit like beyonce jay-z type of feels with this you know where you have freaking Beyonce of course Beyonce also human not perfect there might be some things missing in the relationship but freaking Beyonce and then moving you know moving into this because there was attraction and the cave like you know anyway just frustrated just very very frustrating um oh 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 I am freaking out okay I feel like every reading I come with this weird analogy. <laughs> but let's take a look at the oracles. Because, um, like, let's be honest. With this one, if you are doubting your looks or your attraction, I definitely still feel with that Nine of Wands that they still feel attracted to you. There is just some, like... passion spontaneous um joyful thing that they're missing having more fun with you um of course if you have like children and responsibility or work or whatever that can lead under it but i definitely feel that that's it's something that you guys can like fix and work on um for some of you, it's definitely something you ha you could have fixed or worked on if they didn't have a third party. Because for some of you, this is a no-go. Okay, I do want to say, just clarify, I'm not going to defend them. Because this is not, like, you know. Anyway, um, that their intentions for dealing with this person was never to leave you were to hurt you it was definitely something again with that page of swords for them to learn from have a bit of a break some calm for them to think what do i want where do i want to go this can also be someone that they i don't know like meet when they are on business trip or like overseas or you know again some distance Okay, let me get some oracles for you guys on this. So, pile number two. Their thoughts and feelings towards this third party situation. Their thoughts and feelings towards this third party. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh, oh, I'm throwing everything. Well, that's fine. It's fine. I'll pick it up later. Um, first off, we have coming apart. Coming apart. With this, I definitely feel, again, that you two are like two sides that they would like to combine. And also understanding, maybe they are like coming apart, right? Because understanding that the actions that they did, the decision that they've made, is not going to be something 
where you just forget it and, you know, put it under the rug. No one looks at it. We also have Metamorphosis. So I love this. Okay, this is good. Because this is like, again, change. Um, seeing the results of their actions. And we also have Home. Home. So if there is like a decision that they had to make, they would choose Home. And I feel like that's more with this person. Like, if they would have to choose, I don't think they would give up this person. But there is something about this one, though, with that Two of Swords, that they're having a hard time making a decision with as well. Maybe because they're more involved than they thought that they were, that they thought they could easily walk away from this person and now finding out like, oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe they're having a bit of a harder time with it. Okay, what are their thoughts and feelings about this third party situation? We have the new moon in Taurus with prosperities lie ahead. Wanting to make the right decision. Wanting to really put in the effort. If you guys have been broken up because you're like, I'm not taking this crap. Um, working hard on getting back in like good graces with you. In good feelings for you again. Or like you for them. Okay, what else? Their thoughts and feelings on this third party situation. Let's see, we have a time for healing. A time for healing. They definitely don't want to rush into things. Again, with that Two of Swords making decision. And again, with that Four of Swords as well. With both of you had the Two of Wands and the Four of Swords. Where they need a little bit of a break. Maybe even from, from both of you. In order to make a right decision and see who it is that they are missing. Who is it that they are missing? And I definitely feel there's more of like stability here. Right? Where with this one, they would have to start over and it's like very... There's no security, right? And again, their intuition, their spirit and guides are, I feel like, rooting for this person. And no relationship is easy and no relationship is only fun and good times. With that Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you guys have built a very strong foundation where this does not mean the end of the relationship necessarily. This is something that you can work on. Again... Beyonce, JC, they work through it. Because it's a strong foundation. You both have the same goal in mind. Working slowly towards that. And this leads as well to if you choose to go through with this person, this leads to better communication. Because that's now what you have been missing. And that's something that needs to be worked on. And I feel like they are ready to make that transformation, to make that change. But maybe that also means that they need some space and some time uh, for their healing, for... You know, because to me, this is also a bit, again, a learning process where not all relationships are the same or have like, oh, this is the traditional way of a relationship. So you should act this way or you should move this way, um, where I feel like this person has more of a desire for some more me time or some more, you know, time apart. To me, it's like the thing that I always say in like... Um, coaching sessions and whatnot if something works for you you don't question why you don't um 
compare it to other people dealing with it. If it works for you, you do it. Yeah, but traditionally, you know, if you take time apart, then that's just a breakup. Well, that isn't the rule, you know. Energy changes. If it works for you, it works. It doesn't have to work for everyone else. Okay, let's take a look. So this third party situation, their thoughts and feelings on this third party situation. Okay, let's see what we have. We have a coffin with endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation and transition. And that's with that metamorphosis as well, changing, transforming. Um, endings bring new beginnings. Again, new cycles, new starts. We have Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise intervention or meeting and hesitation. With this, I kind of felt that where they're a bit like scared. I definitely feel the intention of working this through. But just a bit scared. Not sure. Okay, I'm feeling this very uh, distinct thing here. Where I feel like this person is like, okay, well, if you're interested in me, end it with this and then we can have a talk. And they kind of want to have that talk before ending it with this. Because again, this is kind of a safety net. That if this doesn't work out, at least they have the 10% still. And I think it's good if this person has a healthy boundary where it's like, no, if you're in, like, I am only interested in people who are not involved with other people. So if you want to come back to me, end it with this, then we can have a conversation and see whether or not this is something that we can uh, work on. Then we'll take a step further. But I'm not going to talk to you if this person is still in your life, which I'm just like, praise just all the praise to you that is some bad bitch action i'm all here for it love it like you know you also don't go to a bar and then <laughs> their side chick being there and then them approaching you and you gotta like oh hi no you want someone that's available that doesn't have a side chick that doesn't have you know interference with other people you would go like hell no bye Call me when you're single. Love it. Love it. Okay. Uh, we also have the chaser. With chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment. Yeah, there might it might be a bit like codependency. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have stabbed in the back as well. With heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. Look at that. Underneath that, we have the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over the shoulder, the other woman. I feel like <laughs> this is going to be so a little bit toxic. Because I like as a friend, if a friend was going through this, I would say like, make them crawl. Because I feel like even if they're like, yes, it's over, it's over, I would double check with this person. Because I don't think they are. Like, at first, right, you know. Um, so kind of give them hell a little bit. Like, as a friend, I would say that. <laughs> as a coach, I would not. Uh, I would choose the highway. Uh, having trust in them with that, like what feels good for you, focus on what you want and stuff. But as like a friend, I would like give them hell. Um, yeah, S let them struggle a little bit. But again, that's not professional advice. <laughs> it's just FYI. Uh, okay, but I think I'm gonna leave it here because I think it's very clear. I, I feel like I'm just gonna repeat myself. Um, yeah, I definitely feel that this is their priority or they really want to go for this person and this person was, again, like, I tend to go into the extremes of the energy. Um, I definitely feel that their intentions with this person were seriously just to learn, 
figure out what am I missing in this relationship? How can I bring that in that relationship? As well as learning about themselves, about what they have been missing, what they want to try out or new things or I don't know. And that they kind of like got swooped away with that 10% that they were missing. If that makes any difference, right? With their intentions weren't to cheat on you. Their intentions weren't to hurt you. Um, even if that is the end result of what happened. Um, if that is like in any way helpful. Um, so yeah, I am going to leave the reading here for you guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I always love reading about uh, how readings fit into your uh, specific situation. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I just saw that 80% of my watchers are not subscribed. Um, and half of that are returning. So thank you all so, so much. Uh, for being here. Thank you if you would like to subscribe. If you are subscribed, thank you so, so, so much for all the love and support that I have been getting from you guys. In the meantime, go have a kick-ass day. Go get them. You got this. And hopefully, I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pal number three. So if you chose this two cards, then this is going to be your reading today. So the third party situation that you are in what are their thoughts and feelings towards you and this third party? Um, so we have limitations and fears and we have decisions as well. So um, how we're going to do this is one of these cards represent you and one of the cards represent the third party. So the card for you, I have decisions. Uh, the third party is going to be the limitations and fears. First off, we're going to take a look at their thoughts and feelings towards you, then towards the third party, and then see like the dynamic, what's going on, um, and anything we can get from that. So with that, decisions, <sighs> definitely a decision that has to be made whether or not they're going to go for you or not. With this combination, I'm definitely feeling that you might very well be the third party coming into this. Uh, limitations and fears for the third party just a bit intimidating it's kind of what i'm getting but let's just take a look at what the tarot has to say about this so first off with that decisions we are going to take a look at what are their thoughts and feelings towards you in this whole third party situation so pile number three with decisions what are their thoughts and feelings towards you and this third party situation I kind of got when I like looked and did a bit of a meditation before the reading that you might be the other person from pile number two. Because for pile number two, I was like, oh, oh, okay. And now I'm also seeing the death card here for you guys. Well. But let's take a look. Uh, we have the hermit. We have the king of cups. We have the world. We have the death card. The ace of swords. And the two of ones. Okay. So I'm kind of the, like the major energy I'm getting that this has been an ex-partner or like the one that got away type of situation. Um, let's take a look. At the bottom, we have the four swords. Oh my god. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely feeling that right now I'm reading the third party from pile number two. I think this is very, very connected. Um because, like, in pile number two, in pile number two, both people got the four of swords. Um, and which one again as well? The queen of cups. Okay, anyway. Not, not important. Um, <laughs> there is definitely a decision. I definitely feel that this is either, again, an ex-partner or the one that got away or some sort of, like, renewal. That there has been, like, a break. And then a renewal type thing. Um, there might be some distance between the two of you. Physical distance. Long distance. Um, but with that king of cups and the hermit. I definitely feel that this is a connection that. 
makes them like think, look in themselves for answers. That when they are with you, you can have very deep conversation with them as well and really challenge the way that they're thinking. Why are you feeling that way? Where is this coming from? Why? And then like working through it. Um, King of Cups, still a lot of feelings for you, still a lot of emotions here for you. Um, again, that world and a death card, both to me are like endings, endings of cycles. And with a death card, like a, a rebirth. That there has been an ending and then like some sort of rebirth. Again, giving it another chance, but more from a logical sense. Um, it can also be that you have been dating. That ended, but like the friendship continued because you were someone that they could have really deep conversations with. That they would always learn something new from you. Um, and not really wanting to let that go as well. Like, with that four of swords at the bottom, when they are with you, they really are able to, like, rest. To clear their mind, come up with a game plan, with a strategy, how to move forward, come up with new ideas. So for some of you, this might not, in the moment, be romantical at all, at least from you. Right. I do feel that there are very much emotions. And I also feel with that decisions that this person might be contemplating whether or not they should give it another shot romantically, because there are still a lot of feelings here. OK, let me take a look at the energy or what it is that they're feeling towards the other person with that limitations and fears. Okay, pile number three. What are their thoughts and feelings towards the third party with that limitations and fears card? What are their thoughts and feelings there? Okay, let me gather everything and then we can take a look at what we have. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. The Death and Rebirth again. The Queen of Cups. The Seven of Wands. And the Ace of Cups. Okay. okay at the bottom of the deck we have the King of Wands as well for this one. So for some of you, this is a new relationship with that Ace of Cups, new beginnings, new relationship with that King of Wands at the bottom and the King of Cups underneath that. Okay. Um, and then we also have the King of Cups here. <sighs> okay, I definitely feel that there is a very strong connection here. This might also be an ex-partner or the one that got away. I feel very similar energy of... Um, Again, death, rebirth. Almost like when they meet you, they transform in a new version. And then they met this person and they also transformed again. Um, with this one, I'm definitely having, again, with that fears. A lot of like fear involved. Am I good enough? Uh, throwing in their own windows. Um, feeling like they're, they've messed up with this person. But there is a very strong spiritual connection here with that queen of cups here and then the king of cups underneath that because i feel like they re think like their representation of this person is that king of cups someone that has a lot of love to give so much love to give and wants to again receive that in return that same energy in return um where I feel like with this person, it's like, I'm not sure whether or not they're getting that. And I feel like with that world, they kind of like ended that. Like, I'm just surprised that there isn't like an eight of cups here. Whereas like kind of like walking away. Because with that world, I'm feeling that it's kind of like an ending. Um... 
and with this person with that king and queen of cups this just very like surprises me where with this one i feel more excited more deeper connection I feel like there's fear here, definitely fear, because it's such a strong connection to dive into it, feel that they're not good enough, um, that makes them hesitant. But at the same time, I feel like for you, this looks like all of a sudden, very quickly, things move very fast. Um, and them kind of like leaving you a bit like behind, where it might feel a bit like ungrateful right where you have been there for them that soundboard for them to bounce off of and now they found this person and all of a sudden it's almost like bye <laughs> which can be very just like so frustrated I feel like with this person, they're just so scared to lose this person. I kind of want to take a look why that death card is here. Because to me, this is, at one end, I'm feeling, again, a rebirth. But at other ends, to me, with that Ace of Cups, it's new love. New beginning. Totally new. So with this one, I feel like this might be more so the one that got away type thing. But let me take a look. Why is the death card here for the other person? Why is the death card here? We have the nine and ten of pentacles. Jeez. Yeah. I feel like this is more so the one that got away or the relationship that's like, well, you know, we're better single and now coming back and like more matured, grown up. There's still a very strong connection. With this one, I'm leaning more towards them being more seriously with this one because there's just such a strong connection. But because of the fears, I feel like they're just holding on here. almost feel like they feel that they need to choose for some reason and that decision just reminds me of that two of swords which pal two got as well this to me is again this is i feel like i'm just reading the other party of pal number two um but let me get some oracles on this Because, like, while looking at these cards, I'm all, I feel like I'm rushing more into this one. Because I feel like I have I will repeat myself, which is not the case. Because I haven't said it for you guys. I've said it for pile number two. <laughs> but it's so similar. Um, okay, let's see. Pile number three. Your person's thoughts and feelings towards this third party situation oh oh of course one went to the ground give me a second where did it go oh here here it is oh. okay and that is your commitment is being tested your commitment is being tested and we also have what do you need to release so yeah they know again have to make that decision there uh, they need to let go of one of the two because i feel like they and with that, I feel like it's more towards this one. Again, with the decision being here. Letting go of this person. Releasing it. Because I feel that they're slowly moving towards that energy where it's like, okay, I need to make a decision. I know the decision, but having a hard time making that decision. Going for it. Um, a test towards the commitment. Let's see what else. Pile number three. 
your person's thoughts and feelings towards this third party situation. And we have peaks of joy. Peaks of joy. So again, within this third party situation, they are having and feeling these jo peaks of joy with both, I feel like. We also have intention. Intention. So this is so similar to Pile Number 2. It's like crazy because I'm, again, not feeling any bad intentions. You know, um, I just feel more of a friendship base with this one. Of course, there is a lot of love and a lot of care, uh, but I feel more of a stronger soul connection with this one. Okay, what else? I want one more for pile number three. Their person's thoughts and feelings. And we have follow the leader. Follow the leader. I feel like this just reminds me of that decisions. I feel like they are already on that path of home. Because this just looks like the home card in this deck as well. Where they're already going that in that direction. There's just a lot of... Am I making the right decision? Am I letting go of the right thing? Uh, can I trust this so feeling a bit like down on this decision as well not really wanting to let go but knowing it's the right thing to do um holding on to this relationship like the both of them is just self-sabotage in the end I feel like this is going to be the shortest reading today just because i feel like definitely go check out pile number two if this resonates for you if you are curious to know the other side of the story um but let's just take a look some final messages for you guys on this the pile number three some final messages on this third party situation course one went to the ground again where is it oh here oh da, da, da. okay let's see first off we have keys on a ring with many options decision unconventional string along and one night stand we also have sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception and focusing out and we also have lightning with sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. And at the bottom of the deck, we have I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun flirting, want to date. So I'm feeling that's more towards you, where it's like I like you, there's emotion, fun flirting, uh, but then all of a sudden this person came in and was very shocking, very suddenly, um, a lot of change, transformation happening with like almost like on an instant. I feel like they're just going to say like it kind of, again, I feel like I've said this before, but I said it to pal too, where, you know, where they come with. like an excuse where they're like well like i kind of tripped and just fell and then there there was this person and you know um but yeah the difference however here in pile number two and pile number three is that i feel that that this is the long-term relationship and not this one um <sighs> yeah i kind of feel they're more curious about finding this you know working on this one but yeah, I kind of want to leave the reading here for you guys. This has been such a short reading for you guys, but I feel like I'm just going to repeat myself. I said everything that I feel that I need to say. So yeah, I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, definitely let me know because this one confused me because of how much the energies looked like pile number two. Uh, so definitely let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed watching it, give the video a thumbs up. 
um, subscribe if you haven't already. Please, please do. I've seen that 80% of my watchers is not sub sub subscribed and 50% of that um, is someone that returned. Uh, so thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing and becoming part of our little community that we're building here. Thank you so, so much for all the love and support that I have been getting here. In the meantime, go kick ass. You got this. Have an awesome wonderful rest of your day go get them and hopefully i will talk to you guys again in the next reading